Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about Full Stack Development Module 1 that is Web Framework and MBC Design Pattern. So if anyone has not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Your subscription is more important to me. So coming for web application, that is the dynamic website. A web application is a software that runs in web browsers. Businesses have to exchange information and deliver services remotely. So they use web applications to connect with customers conveniently and securely. securely. For example, your Facebook, Instagram, Uber, etc. all are nothing but web applications. So here uh, with the help of web applications only, we, uh, uh, we try to run our web applications in the web browser. So web browser can be anything. It can be uh, your uh, Mozilla, Firefox or Chrome or uh, Bing anything so coming for full stack development it is the process of developing both the front end and back end of applications front end part of applications includes user interfaces component and the back end part of application has database and logic component so here uh, you may get definitions on web applications and uh, full stack development or web framework so of uh, Web framework is designed to support the development of web applications. It provides a programming infrastructure for web applications so that we can focus on writing clean, maintainable code without having to reinvent the wheel. It provides standard way to deploy web applications on the World Wide Web. It means that uh, um, these uh, frameworks uh, in uh, 2023 and 24, if you see, we have a top five frameworks like Django, Ruby on Rails, React JS, jQuery and PHP, and uh, Angular JS. So these frameworks streamline development and reduce the coding effort. Like that uh, CSS, which you are more familiar. So uh, CSS is also a framework which is prepared and it is ready to use. Uh, see, uh, use with the help of CSS library. So the coding, the user need not write the code often. So that is the advantages of this uh, web frameworks. So they help in uh, uh, designing the user interfaces. Either it might be at the front end or at the back end. Okay, to develop the application logic. So that's why we say that uh, it's, it is providing us a standard way to deploy the web applications on the world wide web. So web framework provides implementation for common tasks like database connection setup and teardown, security, admin interface, authentication packages, etc. So that the programmer need not rewrite the code from the scratch. He can make use of the code which is already readily available. He need not write it. So that is the advantages of these web frameworks. Now coming for different types of web frameworks. So front end we have a front that is client side of frameworks. Angular, Vue.js, React, and Embers, Ember.js. Backend at the server side framework, we have ASP.NET, Ruby on Rails, Express.js, Django, and Spring Boot. So, the benefits of using these web development frameworks are streamlined development, speed and efficiency, integrated security, community support, enhanced performance and scalability, testing and debugging. So you may get for two marks question uh, uh, to answer uh, like uh, write the benefits of web development frameworks and what are the uh, different uh, emerging frameworks. So you may get a question like that. So then the, the next important question for A to 10, 10 marks will be the MVC design pattern. So what is this MVC? So this MVC design pattern is a software architecture pattern that separates an application into three main components. Any application you consider, M stands for model, V means view, and C means controller. It separates an application into three main components. So these are the three main components. And it is making it easier to manage and maintain the code base. With the help of MVC, we can easily write the application program and maintain the code. It, al it also allows for the reusability of components and promote a more modular approach to software development. Okay, so this is mainly used to uh, design the applications. Okay, to design these uh, applications, we use this MVC design pattern. 
So coming for M, that is a model. This model component in MVC design pattern represents the data and business logic of an application. So how the data will be represented and what are the logical rules, business logic, uh, what functions it is going to support. Okay, so that is the business logic of an application. It is responsible for managing the application's data, pre-processing business rules, and responding to requests for information from other components, such as view and the controller. So that is about uh, the model. Okay, it gives the information. It is going to interact with the view and the controller. It's nothing but the software itself. So view, it, uh, this component displays the data from the model to the user and sends user inputs to the controller and it is passive and does not directly interact with the model instead it receives data from the model and sends user inputs to the controller for processing so view receives the data from the user and sends the data to the model through the controller the controller is in between the view and the model so i'm going to show this in the diagram with an example again we are going to analyze these three components so controller acts as an intermediary between the model and the view it handles user input and updates the model accordingly and update the view to reflect changes in the model so it contains application logic such as input validation and data transformation so coming for uh, mvc defines it's nothing but it's a way of developing software so that the code for defining and accessing data is separate from the request routing logic so that's why we say that it is a loosely coupled the mvc approach in, in here it is loosely coupled in the sense the code what you're going to modify in one uh, model like uh, mvc it's not going to affect the other model okay coming for advantages of mvc design patterns here codes are easy to maintain and they can be extended easily the components of MVC can be deployed simultaneously. It supports test-driven development. And coming for the diagram here, see here the user, uh, the communication between the components. So here, the sender, the uh, sender, user uh, with the help of you request for some services from the model. So through it, it not directly interact with the model through the controller. With the help of you, user sends the request and the model. Here the mod, the view receives the input and the controller processes the user fr input from the view. It interprets the input and performs any necessary operations and decides how to respond. And controller updates the model. Model views. Uh, the controller updates uh, updates the model and the uh, based on the user input or the application logic and view request data from the model here views you can see from model notifies to the controller the updated information is sent to the view again and the view requests data from the model to update and it displays now controller updates the view and the or the changes uh, in the model so next view uh, view uh, view renders the updated uh, uh, the view request data for the model so controller updates it and view renders the uh, updated ui based on the changes made by the controller to the sender for example here the user is requesting for some services through the controller and and the model updates the data in the database and sends to the controller again control in turn sends it to the view and view displays it to the user Okay, this is the process. For example, if you see the MVC design pattern here, or the example what we have taken for class diagram of MVC design patterns. So here the model, here the student represents the model to show the role number and the name. And student controller, and this inform the, rep the represents the data. And the student uh, view uh, represents how the data should be displayed to the user, contains a method, print student details to print the student's name and the role number and uh, controller acts as an intermediary between the model and the view contains references to the model and view objects provides methods to update the model okay controller has many methods here you can see here so that description i have given here so here it provides methods to update the model and update the 
view that is the function the controller acts as an intermediary between the uh, between